recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my June 2014 update video for, you guessed it, June 2014. Woo. <laughs> Alright, so I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, this time I'm shooting from my new camera, the Sony uh, Alpha 5000, which uh, replaced the Sony Nex line of uh, DSLR, uh, like mini DSLR cameras. I think they're called like mirrorless, something like that, I don't know. I don't know what the technical term is, but uh, I decided to do something a little different just because, so <laughs> why not? And I got on my new uh, Gorillapod tripod and stuff like that. So for you tech spec guys, uh, that's what I'm rocking with. So anywho, uh, I know it's been a while, but I uh, figure we get on with the uh, June 2014 update. So as always with these things, I'm going to run through some youtube -y stuff and then run through some personal life stuff as well. And I got... Uh, my little show notes over here to the side, so if I look over here, that's why. So, anywho, YouTube stuff. So, uh, right now, as always, I'm working on a combination of new and old videos, uh, like my uh, Mikasa tour video. Now, uh, I, I did a video originally of uh, the Japanese battleship, the Mikasa, but that was, that was more on the lines of, like, a tour of the park. Um, I never went into the Mikasa. I never did, like, a, an inside tour stuff like that. I just kind of breezed by it and stuff like that. But uh, with this upcoming video, and I got a lot of footage, like, oh, I think over a half hour's worth of footage of the Mikasa that I may or may not have to par down. So for you, uh, you guys that like the long videos, you're going to love this one. And if you guys hate the long videos, you're going to hate this one. So uh, that's definitely something uh, coming out of the uh, pipes quite shortly. Uh, as well as some more unboxing videos, uh, including the one for this camera right here, actually. <laughs> this is the one that I, I saw before recording. And, uh, of course, archival stuff like uh, my visit to Sydney, Australia last year. Um, I, I took, like, a ton of video uh, with just my cell phone, so obviously, you know, picture quality is going to be a little sketchy sometimes. But uh, I'm really proud of how uh, the one video I did of Harborside turned out. So. So if that's any indication, then uh, I think it's going to look nice. So, um, Also, another thing that I've been working on is uh, my very first channel trailer. And uh, I put, you know, I'm trying to kind of find a theme with my trailer because I don't know, with, with, my, uh, with my YouTube channel, I, I do a lot of different things. You know, I'm not just, you know, the guy that's known for the one thing, you know, despite what some people think. You know, some people think, you know, I'm just the Navy guy who does the Navy thing and only talks about the Navy, you know, I like to think of my channel as more of like a variety channel, you know, even though it's, you know, basically, you know, like travel videos, you know, I talk about the Navy and talk about Japan and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of in that realm, but I like to have the freedom of my channel to do certain things, so if there's something out there that I'm interested in, you know, and I want to record it, I don't want to feel like, you know, I can't record it because, you know, I'm this kind of YouTuber, I'm, you know, I not only show this kind of video, you know, I, I don't want to be limited to something like that, so that's, that's kind of a, a bit of a problem I've been running into, you know, I'm, I've been doing YouTube for years, you know, for basically the better part of a decade, if you can believe it, you know, and, you know, I've come across these problems before, but, uh, you know, it's just, just one of those things, you know, that, uh, you come across just, uh, trying to not only find your niche, but, you know, trying not to get trapped in that niche. So, you know, a lot of, you know, the, uh, you know, like the, the blogging gurus and YouTube gurus and stuff like that, you know, they often preach, you know, find a niche, stick with it, and, you know, just kind of ride your way into uh, YouTube success. And uh, for the most part, you know, I think that that's a pretty good formula. It's very successful. It's been successful for a lot of YouTubers, actually, but. Um, I feel that, you know, well, the motto of YouTube is just to broadcast yourself, you know, broadcast you, you know, whatever you, you do and whatever your thing is. So I think to, to be true to that motto, I should, you know, be true to myself and not try to pigeonhole myself as, you know, the travel video guy or the Japan guy or the Navy guy, you know, I want to do a bunch of other things and, you know, I don't want to be locked into that one thing and, you know, just be trapped by it, so, um, yeah, so, anyway, 
kind of rambling on there for a bit, but uh, kind of got to, uh, to to make that relevant with my uh, first channel trailer. Just kind of paring down all the, uh, the footage and stuff. Because like I said, I've been doing YouTube for eight years now. So I got a lot of shit, basically. And uh, if you are offended by a foul language, I apologize. But hey, I'm a sailor. Fuck it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I just got a lot of stuff, you know, built up over the years that I'm trying to figure out, okay, so who am I? What what does YouTube.com slash andy -san mean? To somebody who doesn't know me, who doesn't know uh, just how I make videos, how I do things, somebody who has no idea who I am. How do I explain who I am in a trailer? You know, I it, it's kind of hard to do. And, and uh, you know, I want to ask you guys who've done the trailers before, you know, what are some tips? You know, wh how can I make a concise trailer? Because I don't want to do this whole long three to five minute trailer, because that's not a trailer. That's basically like a behind the scenes cut. You know, I want to want to part it down to 90 seconds or, you know, a minute and a half max. So I just want to make it nice, short, concise. Um, I often look to the trailer for CTFXC for just some ideas, you know, just kind of give you guys an idea of what my trailer would be like. It's more on, along the lines of like a movie trailer, but you know, less with like the epic -y music and stuff like that, um, and more just you know, concise, short, to the point. You know, what is my channel about? So yeah, definitely. Uh, Looking for some uh, feedback, comments, suggestions, things like that in the comments below, as always, and uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, <laughs> about seven minutes in, and now now I'm getting to the personal stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, personal stuff. So, as you guys know, if you've been following me on Twitter and stuff like that, and Instagram, that's another thing I got to plug. You know, Instagram.com/slash theandysan, and uh, Twitter.com/slash theandysan. Yeah, the Andy Son. <laughs> I can talk. So um, those are my handles on Twitter and Instagram. So if you guys like sunsets, I'm your guy. <laughs> so anyway, as you guys know, I'm uh, back home in my hometown of uh, Salina, Ohio. Not Salina, Salina. <laughs> and I'll be here for about two weeks or so, uh, just visiting family, friends, just relaxing because um, it's been uh, it's been very stressful. Know, being out in Japan as part of the United States Navy it's it's a subject I've been really wanting to talk about but it's very difficult to do because you know some people might, may interpret it as me you know talking smack about the Navy or talking negatively about my job in the Navy and you know there's certainly a lot of negative downsides to being in the Navy as, as it is with with any job there's always your ups, upsides and your downsides so that's just the nature of things. So um, it's definitely something I wanted to talk about, but I have to really choose my words carefully because I, I don't want to get in trouble for my videos. I know a lot of people know that I make videos, especially on my ship. A lot of people know that I make videos, and they sometimes watch my videos. So they're like, "Why the hell do you do that? Why why are you on YouTube?" You know, they they just don't get it. It was the same way on the Kurtz too. You know, a lot of people. I mean. <laughs> The entire ship knew that I made videos even before I checked in on board, you know, just because somebody found one of my videos randomly one day and was like, hey, this guy's coming on board, you know. And, you know, with, uh, with the Lassen, which is the ship I'm on now, it's, uh, you know, it took him a while. I think it was about nine months or so since I've been on board before somebody found out and started spreading the word and stuff like that. And, you know, my division knew about it, but, uh, the rest of the ship didn't really know about it until fairly recently, actually. But uh, yeah, it can uh, it can be difficult, especially since you know before when I was first starting out on YouTube, I didn't really have a large audience or anything like that. So I felt like, in a way, I was a little more free to express myself. You know, I didn't have to you know worry about you know my mom or my stepdad watching my videos and you know asking me questions later on off camera and stuff like that, I mean, like, why the fuck did you say that, you know, how could you say this, you know, what are you thinking, but, you know, now I know that they watch my videos, and in a way I have to pull my punches, just so that way I, you know, I don't have to sit down and explain to them, well, I was just a little mad that day, I was a little frustrated, you know, stuff like that, so, um, I, I've heard of other YouTubers, 
you know, doing the same thing. You know, Victor, give me a break, man. He, uh, you know, he said something similar a couple videos back. Um, so I'm, I know I'm not the only one that has to deal with these things. But, um, yeah, I really want to, to cover just the downsides, you know, the, um, and it, it's not, it's usually not any one thing. It's not one person or one ship or one incident. It's just this intangible negative aura. And I know it's not just with the Navy. It's a, it's a military thing. It's just, uh, the Marines call it the suck. So it's just that you, you can't put your finger on it, but it's it just... You know, it can even make, like, the the nicest, you know, most happy-go-lucky guy just hate life. So, it's it's something you have to deal with, you know, when you're in the service. And, uh, you know, honestly, like, I know a lot of people who are thinking about joining the Navy or have already joined the Navy watching my videos, you know, they see, you know, the, the positive side about being in the Navy. They see, you know, basically, like, what I told my brother, you know, the highlight reel. You know, they don't see the other side of it where, you know, you're working extremely long hours with very little sleep and you're just just grinding through it, you know, just basically getting through the grind of things and just having to deal with, you know, all the politics and stuff like that, which is not my forte. I, I don't I don't like dealing with those kinds of things. But it it is something you have to deal with, you know, in any job. It's not just a navy thing or a military thing, it's it's an occupational thing, you know. <laughs> it's, like I said before, it's the nature of the beast, and it's something you got to deal with. So um, I do want to make a video about it, but I really have to choose my words carefully. So that's that's definitely something that's going to be coming out in the future. Not not anytime soon, but uh, it's definitely something I'm toying with. So um, leading into that, there's also you know me dealing with these you know feelings of anxiety and just stress. You know, since moving out to Japan, and it's not—it's—it's it's hard to explain because, like I said, it's that intangible negative, you know, also known as the suck. And um, you know, the thing is, I love Japan. Japan is great. You know, I couldn't ask to live in a better country. Well, maybe America, but you know, Japan's pretty good too. So, um, but just you know, dealing with the stresses and the heightened operation tempo and stuff like that, being for deployed in is being stateside in San Diego is just, you know, you couldn't be different. You know, San Diego is a lot more relaxed, a lot more calm. You you could kind of see things ahead of time and be like, okay, you know. But, you know, Japan, everything's always last minute. And we had to get it done yesterday and just it's a lot of stress. So there's different ways I'm dealing with it. You know, I'm getting out a lot more, you know, making more videos, making, uh, doing more pictures actually for Instagram with, with my new camera and uh, just stuff like that you know maybe trying to eat a little bit more healthy I know I'm definitely eating a lot healthier out here you know I'm actually you know I don't I don't drink nearly as much I've, I've been pretty much sober for like a week <laughs> except for like a glass or two of wine that my mom and I had a couple days ago which you know I didn't get sloppy drunk or anything like that you know just a little buzz no big deal but you know compared to back in Japan where you know, I'd be drinking chew highs and stuff like that, just not, not, not to excess, so you guys don't have to worry about me turning into an alcoholic or anything like that, but it's always maybe like a, just a couple cans, just to, you know, just to loosen up a little bit, relax, chill out after the end of a long day, something like that, but, you know, just eating healthier as well, and I'm really glad my parents are starting to come around on this whole eating healthy thing. You know, they got spinach and fresh fruits, and we went to, uh, you know, a farm market and got, like, you know, fresh apples and onions and cantaloupes and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a real welcome change, and I'm really glad for them because, you know, sometimes I worry about their health, you know. They're, they're not really old, but, you know, you worry. So, anywho, um, once again, uh, thank you guys for... Uh, for all the support and everything over the years and uh, in dealing with my uh, kind of erratic schedule you know it's hard to to maintain a, uh, a proper YouTube schedule you know when you're as busy as I am you know some 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 months some weeks I'm pretty good you know I can maintain like a daily schedule or something like that and then other times I don't post anything for a week and you know, I apologize for that you know I, 
I go through phases, it's just how it is, you know, with work and stress and, you know, sometimes I just want to take a breather, so, you know, apologies for that, but, you know, I, I do have to thank you guys for sticking with me throughout all that, so, um, yeah, <laughs> without any further rambling, let's, uh, let's close out the video, you know, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments, you know, for feedback, suggestions, anything really, you know, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. With that said, this is the Anson, signing off from lovely Salina, Ohio, back home, my hometown. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning into this video and my other stuff. And I also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs and uh, the mice and whatever uh, peripheral device you use to uh, like my videos. <laughs> and, uh, you know, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.